Windows drawing in another gaming session with updates and lag. For years I've dreamed of a Linux gaming setup that just works. No endless tinkering, no driver headaches, just a pure seamless experience. For years Linux gaming has been my love-hate obsession. Countless nights tweaking settings, begging games not to crash. Sounds familiar? Well, this year might just be the year where everything changes. Today I'm diving into Basite, a Linux OS that promises to make gaming as smooth as a console. I'm testing it on my Lenovo Legion Go and also on my gaming PC to see if I can finally replace Windows for good. Will it live up to the hype or will my Linux struggles continue? Stick around to find out. Before you scream, just use Debian in the comments, hear me out. Linux gaming is really hot right now. Millions are playing on Steam decks and custom rigs. But for every Proton Wizard, there is a little Jimmy who would rather yeet his PC than to debug a Linux driver. Linux setups often means hours of terminal wrestling and little Jimmy is not here for that. Windows, ah, sure, you can use it, it's plug and play, but it's bloated with Game Pass ads, force updates, telemetry hugging all your CPU and random OneDrive pop-ups. Basite is the hero we've been waiting for. So what's Basite? Basite is a Fedora-based Linux distribution designed to make gaming very simple. Whether you're on a Steam Deck, a ROG Ally, or your desktop PC. Unlike SteamOS, which is picky about hardware, Basite's Fedora Roots gives it Ninja level compatibility, supporting AMD, Intel, and even NVIDIA GPUs. It's built on Fedora Atomic Desktop, which means it's immutable. And that's just fancy talk for little Jimmy can't accidentally nuke the OS with a bad download. If something goes wrong, just roll back to the last stable image and you're good to go. So to truly understand and dive deep into how atomic distros like Basite and Fedora actually work, especially when you're trying to avoid the headaches that frustrates little Jimmy when his games are crashing, I had to learn core concepts from programming and computer science. And a fantastic resource that really helped me grasp these ideas is this video sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. They have thousands of lessons from foundational and advanced math to programming, AI, data science, neural networks, and more. For example, understanding precisely how graphics drivers are compiled and loaded into the Linux kernel became incredibly clear thanks to Brilliant's programming and computer science courses. If you're committed to continuously developing your skills as a professional or just want to empower your Linux gaming experience, Brilliant can be an essential tool. Plus, it has bite-sized courses that work on any device designed for people on the go. Brilliant also helps build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not just memorization. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you also become a better thinker. Try 30 days for free and get 20% off an annual plan with our link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen. Thanks Brilliant for empowering our Linux journey. So let's see how easy it is to install Basite. Head to Basite.gg and use the image picker to pick the image for your device. Download it and flash it to a USB with something like Rufus or Balina Etcher and boot it up. Hit your device's boot key usually F12 and on handhelds you may need a volume button combination. Word of warning. On handhelds, skip the user creation unless you got an external keyboard, otherwise you're going to get locked out. Stick with the default Basite login, then pick up your language, your time zone, the drive, and boom, you're done. We tested it on my Ryzen 9 3950X with an NVIDIA RTX 3080 and 32 gigs of RAM plus the Lenovo Legion Go. No driver dramas, no weird errors, just a quick setup and a fancy boot animation. Cost, you might ask? Nothing. Sorry, Microsoft, we're gaming for free. Boot into Basite game mode and it's like your PC just turned into a PS5. The Steam Big Picture interface is sleek, lightweight, and made for controllers. Xbox, DualSense, you name it. Now, let's fire up some games. First up is Cyberpunk 2077 on my gaming PC. It's just a seamless one-click install and we're in. Good one! 
Next up is The Witcher 3 on my Lenovo Legion Go. Same experience, no issues running the game. You can also run your favorite retro games through Emudeck and add them to game mode. If you're enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. What if you need more than gaming? Basset's got a desktop mode that's like a Swiss army knife. Switch to it and you're in KDE Plasma or GNOME environment. Pick your flavor. It's modern, customizable and feels just like Windows 11 but without the bloat. You can install flatbacks for apps like Discord, Firefox or even OBS for streaming. Do you need to work? Browsers, LibreOffice and even Wadroid for Android apps are a click away. Overall, it's a system that just works, whether you're gaming or googling cat memes. So is Basset the Windows killer we have been waiting for? It depends on your needs but it's getting very, very close. The game library is vast with Steam, Epic, and GOG titles running seamlessly through Proton and Lutris, delivering even better performance than Windows. Living room PCs transform into console-like hubs, perfect for gaming from the couch. While desktops can handle everything from browsing cat videos and drafting work documents to video editing. However, there are a few rough edges. On handhelds like the Lenovo Legion Go, the on-screen keyboard on desktop mode can be a little bit clunky and doesn't always scale properly, though this is likely fixable with some updates. Games relying on kernel-level anti-cheat, such as Fortnite, will just not work for now. The installer, while functional, isn't as user-friendly as it could be, and if you're new to Linux, this process might feel a little bit daunting. With one final round of refinements, Basite could easily outshine Windows, leaving it in the dust for gamers seeking a smoother, more focused experience. If you're new to Linux and tired of the Windows frustrations, Basite is the perfect OS to make the switch hassle-free. Personally, I'll keep Basite on my Lenovo Legion Go. The experience is fantastic, with smooth gameplay and a console-like feel. For my desktop, I'll stick with dual booting Windows and Basite for now, as some games I play still rely on anti-cheat software that doesn't yet work on Linux. If you like this video, you're going to love this one here, where I showcase the perfect motherboard for a console-like living room PC. Check it out here.